Hey folks, getting ready to start another project. Uh, you seen this in my other videos, little Alice C rebuilt the carburetor on it. Oh, I don't know, probably six months ago. But she's needing a little more tension. Old tractor's part of it. But the old manifold's junk. Muffler's just crap, as you can tell. Well, there went my sockets. I mean, it just needs a, needs a little TLC. Gas tank leaking, starting to leak gas on the bottom. I got another good one. But we got brand new manifold and gaskets. Over here we got some more parts. Alternator bracket. The little thing runs good though, and I, I like the stupid little thing, so I'm going to fix it. But like I said, it don't even have an alternator on it or nothing, which actually goes on this other side. But there's your bolt holes. But we got the bracket and everything, and going to put a new alternator on it where it'll charge and get it all fixed and going. And while it's in here, yeah, there's a puddle of oil. Front main seal's leaking, which I got one of them. But while we got it in here, I got a parts tractor out there with a wide front end on it. So we're also going to be swapping this over to a wide front. I really don't care for the tricycles. Where I'm at, I got a lot of hillsides and stuff, and I just, I just really don't like them anyway. But kind of dangerous to get on a few hillsides so we're going to swap it make it a wide front put the alternator on it do just change the manifold and do a little tlc on it so figured i'd make a video while i did it and someone might find it interesting like old tractors like me so i will start by getting the skins off that's just pretty simple just a few bolts and you pull it off and not much to it so I will get this tore down and I'll turn the camera back on when we get to that point and kind of show you bare bones and we'll start putting brackets and fixing stuff and all that. So I'll turn the camera back on when we get there. All right, folks, we're getting there. We're getting there. Got her stripped down, got the manifold off. And when you do that, a little trick, I just left the carburetor hanging here. Still hooked up governor rod and spring. All I gotta do is bolt it up. But we got new manifold turn that the right direction but we'll get that on new gaskets the old one was just i mean trash absolute garbage it was junk so pipe was too and then left fit which we have a new pipe and all that but get that on then we gotta get the alternator brackets on get the alternator on and if you do i made a new discovery this is a one wire alternator, believe it or not, a Chevy. It's just like the old style ones. You just took up one hot from right uh, there on that nut to your battery or from there to your amp gauge to your battery. And it's a lot smaller. I mean way smaller. And a lot of these old tractors, if you mount them, you can't get the hood closed. So it's kind of nice. And they're cheap. It's 50 bucks shipped to my door. They're not as high an amp rating. They about a 35 amp rating which is plenty on these old tractors so i'll get the manifold on that on and i need to hunt up a gas tank i think i got one on a parts tractor so we're gaining and then we're going to swap this front end out i got a parts tractor with a good wide front end and if anybody's thinking of doing it, it's going to be pretty simple. There's only four bolts in the front, two up top, and then two down here at the bottom, and this whole front end will come off. And then you got one nut right here on this steering arm. I'm just going to pop the whole thing off because it looks like they're made a little different. And I'll take that wide front end one and the bar and everything and just bolt it on, the four bolts. And then you'll have to take this off right here which not everybody's going to have that, but I do. I guess they did that, who I got off of, put on trailer. But this hole right here, your front end's got a, a wishbone that comes back and goes through this bell housing. So I'll get this out. So let's see, four, five, six, five, five bolts and one nut up there to change the whole front end on one of these Alice BCs or CAs, same thing, same engine block. So pretty simple. So, I ain't going to bore you with that. It's pretty well unbolted, put it back on, real simple. 
gaskets and stuff but I'll turn the camera back on when I get done with it and show you what it looks like and I might show you how I do the front end because that's going to be a little bit kind of fun and tricky we'll have to block it up so this thing don't fall to the ground and all that so but I'll turn the camera back on when we get there hey folks got her stripped down got the manifold on bracket muffler all looking pretty good got all that on if anybody else does this this come from Steiner pretty good company I've ordered a lot of stuff with them but the manifold didn't come with the bolts and then was a 3 8 thread it's kind of goofy size but we got them and then the bracket you'll look kind of goes right against this and they send you a big old clamp that once you get that in you set it down and put your clamp over that in the bracket so it don't go nowhere it's pretty solid so pretty happy getting it so far and I've got the blocks under here I cut up some railroad ties and stacked them this way and then stacked them this way and then one this way with the jack this tractor's not that heavy so I mean this is alright I got a real good grip there's a notch cut up here on these that you can set across and get it where it's kind of cradled or it ain't going to move so we're getting close I've got it all ready. I've got my steering arm off. And all thing left, like I showed you before, there's four bolts, two on top, one there, one there, and then same way on the bottom right there. You got one underneath it and one underneath it. And then this whole front end will go pop, come off. And we'll just slide the new one on. And I'll probably put that on the junk tractor just so I can move it around. But I want the wide front end on this one because this one runs really good and we're going to be using it quite a bit. So just need a little, need a little TLC. Huh? Didn't notice that before. You've been in there a while. You. Yuck. Some kind of bee or something. But anyways, I'll take a walk out here and I'll show you what we're getting ready to rob this off of and I'll turn the camera back on when we get out there. Alright. We're out here in the the bone yard here is going to be our donor front end right here this is a well some people might say it's a b because the front end is not adjustable but it's got to be a c because there's electric start on it which don't matter b c and c a you can swap the front ends they're they all interchange so but we're going to get this off it's the same way there's four bolts and the whole front end will just pop off you got four bolts there and what I was telling you a while ago, the wishbone is right here. Comes off the, that's kind of a wishbone too on the front, but this one comes back, and if you look, it goes back to this torque tube, as they call it, this whole piece right here. But the wishbone comes back, and the uh, stud goes through, and then you put your nut on it. So that's why I had to take that stupid ring out of mine, and we'll bolt that in, and then all we got is this which i done come out here and popped off the other day and pulled the radiator off to get it ready but see it's a little different than the other one so i just took the whole whole thing off and better safe than sorry we'll just pop that on and a nut and four bolts and i got a wide front end so pretty simple anybody want to rebuild a motor yeah right not me but i bought this at auction real 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 cheap but the main reason I wanted it wide front end, and there's cultivator bar under here. So, I wanted that too. I might use that one of these days. What I paid for it, I don't care. I give a hundred bucks for that thing. So, it was cheap, and I wanted the parts, wanted the front end. And I'm not, like I said, I ain't going to sell none of this. This is all keeping, so I don't mind telling you what I paid for it. But, a lot of good parts. But we'll have a wide front end on that other one. So, just figured I'd show you what we're getting ready to rob here. And uh, I'll get this off, get that in the shop, and kind of turn the camera back on once we get it in there and show you all the pieces going together. So, like I said, folks, just because it's junk don't mean there ain't good parts. But I'll get it off and get it in the shop, and we'll turn the camera back on and show you the rest of it here in a little bit. All right, folks. <sighs> Sorry if I'm out of breath, but we got it off. It was simple. Just the four bolts right there. This camera will pick it up. Just these four bolts. Just popped her out. And then the one nut on the wishbone and the one little 
steering deal. I, mean, I just set it back down on a wooden block, but it's it's robbed. So I just took the old pump truck here and lifted her up, run a cable down. Maybe you can see that there. Works pretty good. I lift stuff all the time with that thing, but um, if you don't, not, not, nobody else is really going to have that. But you can set blocks under this and put a jack under it and get it up like I did the one in the shop. So that was just quick and easy, and we got it loaded. Very light, very small. Ain't too bad. Got in the back of the buggy. But this ain't much to it. So I will get this in the shop. Me and Mama will. We'll get it unloaded, and I'll get it put on. So we'll. I'll turn the camera on, we'll get back to the shop and get ready. See you in bed. All right, folks, we're back. Got the front end on it. Got the wide front on there. Looking good, we're gaining. I'm quite happy. Still got a little bit to do. I didn't paint it, I kinda wish I'd have rattle canned it, but later I'll probably paint the tractor anyway. But what I wanted to show everybody, I run into a snag come over here uh, yeah I've got stuff everywhere typical project you go go on you got stuff everywhere here is the steering box that was on this with the tricycle and this is the one that was on our donor tractor out there same thing Ross Ross the tricycle has got a little bit bigger shaft right here so I thought okay no big deal so what I did took the pitman arm that was on it and I just popped the old ball joint out of this uh, steering over here just took a grinder ground the back off popped it off shoved it in here and then put it on no big deal hooked up to this and what I found out is when I went right my steering went left so that obviously ain't gonna work I was trying to get out of changing the uh, whole steering box because the old one was fine. But they're different on the tricycles. So when you anybody else goes to do one of these, you have to change the steering box as well. I just thought maybe the shaft deal was, uh, you know, later up in years they changed it or something. No, apparently the bigger ones so they know which one goes on the tricycle and which one goes on the regular wide front end. So I had to go get the whole shaft out, which ain't a big deal, and I wish I'd have recorded it, but I was trying to get this done, but like I said, you turn the wheel right and the steering will go left with the uh, tricycle front end when I put this pitman arm on it, so the wide front ends are different, but when you go to pull one of these, it's pretty simple. You got two bolts, one of mine's broke, I'm going to have to fix it, but you got two of them here, and you just unbolt it, and your steering pops loose. And you just pull the whole thing down and shove the whole thing back in. Pretty simple. And the uh, two little deals that hold it there. So really simple on these old tractors. Even stuff you think's really gonna be bad, it's been pretty easy. So I just figured I'd share that with everybody. When you change the front end, you have to change the steering box. Because they're geared different. Because like I said, I turned it right, wheels went left. So that's not gonna work. But we're gaining. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the steering box, give it a rattle can because it's really rusty. I am at least going to do it because it's going to be all in the skins and everything. But I'll get that done, put it in, and show you some more progress. Later on, I'll turn the camera back on and show you some more. Alright, folks. Front end is on. And yes, I couldn't stand it. I painted it. It looks so much better. So, eh, offsets a little bit. But I wasn't going to paint the whole thing. I had to get a gas tank off another tractor and it had a dent in it. Ended up not being as bad as I thought it was. Wish I would have painted it. But, got the starter changed. I got solenoid set up on here because the push button deals never work. They're junk. And, I know for anybody freaks out, the electrics, electronics of this are not done. I've got a battery box coming, and then I'm going to wire up either a push button or a key switch for the solenoid. But I bypassed the stupid push button starter that goes on top. I don't even know if I have, ah, one of these. 
this is an old one, but the way these work, it pushes in and makes contact underneath. Uh, I don't know. I've never had any good luck with these. The new ones are absolute garbage. Junk. Uh, they might have made them better. I'm sure they made them way better back in the 50s, but as far as me personally, I've never had one work, period. So, and we got this all done. I got the alternator on it, mounted, all work good. This come from Steiner. It just bolted in, made for regular one wire, bolted right up, no problem. Did everything it was supposed to. This old Alice, though, had a 5 8 belt. I had to order the pulley. It was nine bucks free shipping, almost nine bucks, not quite, but big deal. For a 5 8 pulley, and then everything worked. And the belt number, actually, let me go through some part lists for you. So in case anybody else wants to do this, I'll save you some headache. But we got that in. I didn't get the wire run. Like I said, when the battery box comes in, I'll do all the wiring. I am ready for a break from this thing, folks. This turned into a nightmare. I had one gearbox that I had to use because this front end with this kind of u-shaped front end right here is its own gearbox and the one i had was busted i had to weld the back plate and get it on got it working and then i had a bolt broke on cast we cleaned it up i welded it it's still holding so and i'll cover the front end on that too in a minute the i learned something the hard way i'll save you some more headache let me tell you this little simple project major pain would i do it again Absolutely, because I'm getting ready to do it again on another one down the road here in a little while. I've got another Alice C we're going to drag up and try to get running. It's set for years. I'm sure it'll run. But we got that done. Got the manifold on. Got the muffler on. And all's well. She's, she's looking good. Got it going. Got the tricycle off. So I'm happy. And as far as the parts list, let me show you. When you order that bracket from Steiner, excuse the mess, folks. It looks like two tractors exploded in here. I had a heck with starters and everything. I mean, it's been a nightmare. And I've got just parts and crap strung everywhere. When I get it out, I'm cleaning. <laughs> so, hang on. I forgot one more thing. Okay. Now, when anybody else goes to do this, there's two front ends. There's this one, and it has to have the gearbox that goes with it. And then there's an adjustable width front end that's straight across. You can adjust it. It in the tricycle have the same gearbox. I'm sure they interchange because the steering on them, instead of hooking up down here, it hooks up here on top on both of them, which was why mine run backwards and the shaft smaller for this U one. So, if you got a tricycle and you're putting an adjustable front end on it, you should be all right. You shouldn't have a problem with it. You should be able to use the same gearbox. You'll find out when you hook that up. And actually, I'm getting ready to do that. So, uh, if you're subscribed, you'll see that. If not, stay tuned or subscribe and get notified. But we're going to do one of them down the road. And this B style, this is what the B's had in some of the early C's. Because this is a C, and I've seen them with them that way, but they don't adjust. And they hook down here underneath, so. But anyway, before I get, I get back on track, when you put this alternator on in the bracket, there's your part number from Napa for the belt you'll need. 22380. It fits very snugly. You'll have to lift that, pull up your alternator, and it works great. I mean, just like a dream. But you'll have to order... Either order the alternator with the 5 8 pulley already on it, you can do, or if you got one, you can just order the 5 8 pulley for a 10 SI GM alternator and it'll work fine. And one more problem I had changed the front seal out on this while we had it apart. Front main ain't leaking a drop. But the front main seal from Steiner did not fit. I couldn't make it fit to save my soul. It was a just a hair bigger and would not work. But once again, through Napa, there's your part number, 14816. 
SKF front seal. Fit in there just, I mean, like a dream. So that's your front main seal for your Alice B, C's, and CA's. I couldn't get the Steiner one to fit, so I'll save you some headache. And in case anybody wants to see them together, there's your belt number. Oops, let me get my camera back. There's your belt number and your seal number. So I'll save you some headache. I had to make a couple trips to town to get that figured out. All right, now, moment of truth. Should have done turn the gas on, but like I said, we will be doing another one. So stay tuned for that. And I know the wiring's not done, but we'll get it done. I said, I'm ready to get this out here and clean my shop up. I'm due for a break. So don't give me no crap about this. It's temporary. Oh, don't she sound good? Just a Cadillac. -ing. So much better. Working like a top. And we got the clappy. Gotta have a clappy. So, but it's 90%. If anybody else wants to see that. Like I said, I just put a sports Illinois on it. I'll fix that later. So, let's cheat a little bit. Oh, the old girl just wants to go. All right, now you can hear me. Anyways, so, all right, I'll clean this mess up enough tonight to get this out, and I'll take you guys for a ride with me. Like I said, I'm happy with this. I'm thrilled with this. I hate tricycle front ends. I know it's popular in the day, but I like wide front ends, and there's too many hills on my place. Tricycles will get you killed out here. So, we got that changed, and I'm happy. So I'll clean up enough mass to get out of here and we'll take a little ride. So I'll turn the camera back on when we get to that point. All right, folks, I finally got enough of this mess moved around to where we can get out of here. So like I said, it this turned into quite a fun project. I got stuff everywhere, but one more thing I wanted to cover. The paint that was used on this, I actually had to paint this twice this paint is awesome magic paint is the brand i'll show you can but do not ever buy or waste your time or your money on this this krylon farm implement paint this is the sorriest paint and if i remember right i think it's even higher than that magic paint that magic goes on smooth and easy and glossy and this stuff is horrible. I, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Don't waste your money with Krylon. Bad. Absolute garbage. Right there. Perfect place. Forget it. Now, this right here. Magic. A tractor, truck, and implement. Folks, this is awesome. This stuff went on smooth and even and fairly thick. And I mean, it went a long ways. I painted this whole tractor, the the front, all the little parts, the steering box, the cover, the sector, everything with like a can and a half and had two coats on it. And it's awesome. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. And no, I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by anybody on my channel. But this this stuff was great. This is all I'm going to use from now on. So I'll save you some more headache. Learn from everything I, I had to do the hard way, so anyways let's start this thing up and drive it out of here ah. oh yeah ah. da -da 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 -da. good place for the starter key ain't it I am ready to go. Yeehaw! Absolutely great. Say woohoo! Folks, it is working and working good. I am a happy, happy person. Let me tell you. 
Absolutely. Just take her for a spin. And it steers just as smooth and easy as it did with the tricycle. Try a little higher gear, shall we? Try second. Oh yeah. Awesome. Well, that old thing steers just as good and tight. I'm happy. Well, let me turn around. Make a loop right here. Don't turn as sharp, but it turns pretty good. That's pretty tight. Oh, I'm so glad to have my tractor back. I said it might be stupid, but I like this little thing, so definitely worth fixing to me. Alright. And it sounds good. One more time. Okay. We get down without falling. Woo! Ah, well, there she is. Like I said, for now, wiring's temporary. We're gonna. I want to put some headlights on, which I've already got. I hook up the alternator and either a push button or a ignition switch. I might as well go ahead and do an ignition switch because one day the mag will go out and to me there's no point in them I really don't they're good when they're good but when they break they're very expensive to keep up you know the coils are about 80 bucks the tops alone if you can find good clean refurbished ones are usually 20 bucks or more and I just and everything's crammed in there and I just when they're good they're good but when they're dead they're expensive upkeep so but anyway my opinion like I said, everybody's got one. But I am done. And if anybody's thinking of doing this, this really wasn't that bad. I just, I run into a lot of little snags. Like I said, the alternator and all that. But go back in the video and use that front main seal if you're going to do one. Because the one I had from Steiner would not fit. And that's your Napa belt number for the one wire alternator with the brackets. And that'll work on B, C, and C, A. Same block. And I think they use this engine block on the d10s and d12s as well i think now i might be wrong so double check that but same bracket and everything i'm pretty sure but i think steiner lists what it will and won't fit but bolted right on everything worked great so front ends on wide front end now so much better than the tricycle i'm happy happy so all right folks that's it for this video and we're done for now so i'm gonna go clean that mess of a shop up after this probably tomorrow i'm due for a break on this so as always like and subscribe and we'll catch you on next video bye